to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for the boys. Season 2, episode number 1. We back, players. I'm so excited. Um, I didn't even know it was coming back, so this was a nice surprise. Um, I had, I did not have it on the agenda. It so. was a surprise hit last year, and man, we, we loved it. Yeah, so it was episode. definitely nothing what we expected it to nah, be, and we loved it. We love it. For that. All yeah. right, I wanted to feature a couple comment, comments from the finale of season one uh, from YouTube, starting with Paul Schober, who Let's says, I think it's very likely Homelander was telling the truth about Becca coming on to him. Why else would he save Billy and bring him over there to see the family? He wants to rub his incorrect guests in his face and have a laugh. Yeah. L. Bruce says, Homelander was really loving the fact that for once, he didn't actually do the terrible thing someone thought he did. Mm -hmm. uh, Donald Betty Leon says, why did she stay by his door to put on her shoes if she was raped and most rape victims wouldn't? They'll try and get as far as possible from their rapist. She yeah. wasn't trying to get away. She just had a good old time. Mm -hmm. um, J.B. Lewis comes through to say that plot twist was crazy. Yeah. Uh, Rob, again, dropping the, the knowledge that Becca was not raped. Uh, Stuff to Live says the top three character actors together in one scene and Homelander steals the show. He should be arrested for theft. Yeah. Uh, Age of a Queen just ends with the ending. The ending. Um, then Vic Sarah... I featured this comment because I liked uh, <laughs> how people like jump to our defense. Mm. Uh, but Vic Sarah says, I like your reactions, but you are so bad with the cuts of the series. You don't show so many of the good moments and you put so relevant moments. Exactly. Um, and I just appreciated that Robert Hillman ju jumped in to say, don't watch them. And D. Leo came in with knowledge saying, because they keep getting copyrights. That's right. <laughs> if you come over here and we show you everything, then what's the point of you seeing No, that's not, that's not even the reason. The reason is no. we get copyrights and we our get shit will get shut down. down. We yeah. trying to do that again. Uh, others don't. Don't know why they are. Love them. Thank you, D. Leo, for dropping that knowledge. Appreciate it. Then the man you see coming through to say, ha, love it. Y'all's faces towards the end. Classic. <laughs> Homelander is the MVP for me. Even though he's evil, dude is badass. It yeah. makes the show great. So glad you enjoyed the show and can't wait for the next season. We here. Yeah. Next season starting. Um, LD Kinboat says, I think uh, Homelander saved Butcher because he actually respects how dark and truthful he is. And he thought that Butcher deserved to know the truth also. Mm -hmm. I don't think he was... Uh, fucking with Butcher or saving him to rub it in, but we'll see for sure at the beginning of season two yeah, to see we, how yeah. the conversation goes. Yeah, we about to see for real. Homelander, Homelander, I don't know what I just said, Homelander could have been telling the truth about Becca as he sees it, and he's a sociopath and possibly a psychopath, so how he sees it may not be the most reliable thing when he sees it as her coming on to him. Okay. She could have just smiled and been a bit of in all to be working with him. I think that's a really great point. No one else has said that as far as like his perception. I think that that could play out in that way, too. Yeah. Uh, Vernon Johnson says, next season, Butcher is going to be like, maybe Homelander is a Spice Girl. <laughs> uh, Quad K says, the deep bout to be the first non-terrorist supervillain. Yeah, he's about to go in. Yeah, they did piss the deep off a uh, lot. Uh, and, I mean, he was done a little dirty. Yeah. Uh, Webhead2099 says, I just can't wait uh, for season two now. And is the baby dead? LOL. Like, did Homelander leave the baby in the house or what? <laughs> then what are the rest of the boys going to do? Like, are they going to try and find Butcher or no? Rex Racer says, Vought may have hired Becca to have a baby Homelander 2.0, this mm -hmm. time raised by a loving mother and not messed up in the head. This offspring may be the only way to stop Homelander in the future. There are all kinds of possibilities on Becca's backstory and why she did what she did. Okay. All right. In the last few comments from the finale, uh, anyone, uh, Homelander might have had a shitty childhood, but he's a huge dick. <laughs> he has on multiple occasions killed children. He's definitely intriguing, but also one of the worst villains ever, yeah. ever pure of evil. I think that's Man. perfectly said. Yeah, zero, zero thoughts. All he's day. super entertaining, and we all like appreciate zero the shit thoughts. out of that, but he is definitely And you should angel. expect that if that was reality. If somebody had 
if everybody was able to have powers, there will be somebody. And he was raised without any kind yeah. of empathy I mean, or like human connection. Yeah, that's so. real life right there. That, was, that could totally happen. Civil Nation says, thanks, fam. It's funny. I enjoy Doom Control so much more than this, and yet I find it easier to recommend The Boys to other people rather than Doom. I just feel people will get this show much easier than yes. Doom. I'm expecting season two to be even better. I just noticed that y'all don't introduce yourselves at the start of the video. You should. First names at least. Um, RJ's been editing, a psh, psh, which yeah. has names. Um, we're really bad at doing anything traditional. That's right. <laughs> so, we just like to get to the get yeah. to it. <laughs> but we appreciate you calling us out. Yeah, for sure. Um, Gunslinger 11B says Homelander held all the cards. There was no reason for him to lie. He could have told Butcher he raped his wife and then let him die. <laughs> he took him to see his wife to show him the truth. Uh, Kathy 11144 says, do you think the baby is dead? I personally think the baby's dead. They didn't yeah. show it, but also, like, do you show babies getting murdered? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but I feel Homelander like he... probably zoned him out of there. I don't think... Yeah. I think the baby's dead. Homelander yeah. showed no empathy toward that baby. It annoyed him the entire season, like, that it took um, her attention away from him. I mean, so, they like, could easily do away with the baby and just, yeah. Like, like yeah, I don't it, see... It died in the fire, so... Um, Jen Jen 5P says, if you'll take a peek where Billy's wife came out of the room after the Homelander encounter, she didn't look like she was raped and it took them three hours. It was consensual, I think. Yeah. We will have to find out yeah. and see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sean well, Day everybody's says... Everybody's concerned about the rape, though. Sean Day says, so sad, it's over. And then Dominique Phillip ends with just a classic awesome. So, thank yeah. you guys so much for those Thanks comments. Thanks for coming through, everybody. Keep those coming for season two. We will feature them as often and as many as we can. Yeah. Um, but I'm excited to jump into season two right now, so let's get it. I will save you. I'll do it for you. For America. For a dear, dear old friend. Goodbye, brother. We descended by our heroes. You stood among the best, protecting us from evil. You rose above the rest. And you cannot handle. Where the fuck you going? <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm just getting you here, Purell. Sugar aloe and come right back. Sugar yeah, the aloe. Yeah, aloe. It's really good. Keep your skin smooth. Okay. Sugar aloe. <sighs> of Broadcon. I mean, <laughs> nope. It doesn't matter. You built me up. And why was Madeline Stillwell's baby found safe oh. in the yard There's the answer. 17 miles away? Twenty miles. These are among the many questions. Where is Monsieur Charcutier? Real identity is unknown. Please call one 888 Christ. Jesus, my God. Oh, he don't want to drink it all. Nope, he's drinking it all. Oh, my God, hi. And you don't need super eyes when you have super ears. Can I just say, that is amazing. What happens if, um, uh, I don't know, I do this? <laughs> Another useless fucking blind guy. This must be some kind of a joke. Ashley. Ashley. What? He can cut his limbs off. Is your leg guy? Um, do you want me to uh, saw or chop or whatever floats your boat, Tiger? Whatever floats your boat, Tiger. Oh, it doesn't even hurt him? Holy shit. Mr. Grand, will you chop off my dick?
Where's the closest ATM? He's broken every single bone in his arm. What do you say? What's going on? Frenchie, what do you say? Ugh. What do you say? Oh. Lifted a whole boat. A soup. A soup terrorist. No, thank you. Help you get back into the seven. That's what you want, right? CIA lady, right? Rainer? Right. The same CIA that wants to clamp our nuts into some jumper cable. We could call Butcher. For the last time, we don't need Butcher. Then what? I can't. I mean, it's impossible. I'm a nobody there. I'm a lap rat. They cut off my limbs and they grow back. I can't get you. I have to. Or I put this on Facebook tonight. That's right, man. With our new campaign, Saving America. Here I go, you guys. Wish me luck. Oh, FYI, not a real base. Hi, I'm in the seven. Replacing translucent. God bless his soul. Mm. Ink's barely dry, but uh, yeah, reporting for duty. Who delivered the good news? Oh, uh, Mr. Edgar Vicka. Oh, <laughs> great. All right. Great. Back to it. Okay, so then what's the whole picture? The whole picture? It's bought. It's a fucking coup from the inside. Wait, what are you talking about? You bring a terrorist over. Uh, yeah, I mean, that no, was... While you're preening at the Golden Globes, we are busy running around like maniacs trying to clean up the mess you made. I don't have to consult you about Stormfront or anything else. <laughs> you can't talk to him like a man child. He had to eat some humble pie, man. Yeah. Motherfucker, I know it was you. We ran around the world passing that shit out like candy. You better have tacos. <laughs> Are you aware? That is a good question. You call them. I'm sorry, but you it's not a game now. We need a real captain. French is right. This is a fucking mess, son. We got a soup terrorist. Rain has blown a canister. And we're the most wanted cunts in the country. But don't you worry. Daddy's home. I knew he was gonna say that. I fucking knew it. But don't you worry. Hey man, have you back? Yeah, I wasn't really doing shit. Well, Jim was just hanging around thinking about you. Yeah, but he's shitty too because Butch left him hanging. Back by himself, so he feels like they shouldn't yeah. want to need him, you know? Alright, that was episode one of season two of The Boys. 
And man, it's a whole bunch going on right here, man. It's, it's setting this season up for a lot. It's a it's a lot. I can't even even wrap my head around. Like everything. I don't even feel you know? like it's necessary to process. No, nah, I'm not even gonna yeah. even try. I'm just gonna just just watch the episodes and just let them keep going. All I'm saying is I love every bit of it. I love how we continuing on right from where we left off, and there's a bunch of mysteries that's going on right now that will have to be solved. But I am glad that Homelander yet again has a foe. That is upstairs on the 99th flow. That has made him eat, as Babe said, humble pie. So I'm down with that all day. I thought, I thought the CEO was going to go ham on him real quick. To be like, yeah, I got powers too, little dude. And he probably do. Which I hope he does. Because he's going to kick his ass if he do it. But yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. But this is going to be setting up right now. It looks like it's going to be a really, really good season too. So... Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. I, I just wait for the next episode, but I love it. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to address a couple things that were left over from season one that we got some clarification on. Mm -hmm. One, the baby's not dead. Yeah, so that's good. all those questions. That's always uh, good. I was wrong. I definitely thought the baby would have been dead. Um, Butch is back. I'm glad they didn't extend that out too long. Yeah, he because, finally like, came in. And I do like end. Frenchie being like, yo, dude, Huey, you're not our leader. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, you're yeah. just not that guy. Um, but I, I, I get Huey's feelings and all that, too, because Butch did leave them hanging at the end of last season. And then um, to Becca, um, just seeing that quick glimpse of Homelander on the front porch with Becca. Becca does not look thrilled to see him. There is some kind of tension there. She doesn't... I don't know. I still feel like there's... I really liked... And I'm sorry, I can't remember whoever I left the comment that we read at the beginning of this who said that it might be Homelander's perception, but you don't know what ultimately actually happened and he might perceive it one way and yeah. what actually happens different i don't know yeah. um so i still think there's uh obviously a mystery there as far as what exactly happened from becca's perspective yeah so we, we get that part too um and then lastly um i thought this was going to play out much longer than it did with the lieutenant or i mean with the <laughs> yeah. deputy the director yeah. yeah but like that Boom. was a fucking surprise yeah, that so, was crazy. um but i'm super excited um, as far as this being the first episode, I don't even want to predict where it's going, um, but don't that need was to. a great introduction yeah. to the season. Don't need to. Love it. Can't yeah. wait to get back into it. Y'all tell us what y'all think down below, because we're about to probably have a good time this season, because everything just looking like it's about to line up real good. Yeah. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk reaction for The Boys, season two, episode number one. Until next time, people. <laughs>